All right, so let's talk today about finding money to invest. One of the hurdles that I hear people say is like, I don't have enough money to invest. And they're thinking that they need to have a huge amount of money. And what happens is they allow the fact that they don't have a huge amount of money today, keep them from even getting started. Like, listen, you've got to start to get to where you need to go. So how can you find that money? Now, there's a couple of different ways we go about it, right? One, look for different jobs, work harder, overtime, extra hours. I remember when I first started, I used to pick up every shift of overtime that I possibly could. I wound up working twice as much as most other people that had a bigger income. Question is, what do you do with that income, right? So work a little overtime, double my income. What do most people do? Parkinson's law. They double their expenses. Look at all this money I got coming in now. I can finally get that damn car. Yeah, son, I'm going to look good in that car. And they go in to get that car. And then they go and get that other personal residence, right? Their own house. I'm not talking about investment houses. We'll talk about that later. I got more income. I can get a bigger house, a better house, more stuff, fancier curtains, whatever it is. Parkinson's law, you know, talks about work expanding into whatever time you allow it. And we see the same thing with people's finances. As your finances, as your income expands, so do your expenses. And so as your expense ratio goes up on par, or oftentimes even above, outpaces what your income increases are, you wind up in no better of a situation. So every time you get one of those you know, bonus paychecks, every time you get a, a pay raise, every time you pick up an overtime shift, what are you going to do with that money? That money, that excess is where you can start your nest egg for investing. Now, don't forget to have money to invest with. That's what's above your income, above your expenses. There's two parts to that ratio. So what is your expense ratio? Take a look through your finances. I can't tell you how many times I've gone through a credit card statement. Like, you know, what? we should really kind of take a look at these uh, finances. What's going on here? And find out, oh, I've been paying for a gym for a year and a half that I haven't been going to. What am I doing? Right. So we all probably have those expenses, you know, within within our household. Right. That could probably be because they're not getting used at all. Uh, and anyway, so taking a look out, there's a lot of programs out there. Dave Ramsey's got some um, that allow you to kind of go through what are your monthly finances? Am I still using these? Is there an option for, for cost savings on things? You can get really into the into the nit and gritty of like calling your cable company, renegotiating um, your I used to renegotiate my cable uh, cost every two years. Contract would be up. Oop. They'd ra raise the price. Time for me to renegotiate. Seems small, right? But every time you make one of those incremental changes, saving $50 there, saving $50 there, that all adds up. Compound effect, because we're going to get into talking about compounding interest, that you've got to compound enough to get your initial nest egg investment to get you started. And I see too often, again, that people don't start because they don't have that. So they're like, well, to hell with this 50 and to hell with that 50 and I'll spend the money over here. And they keep cutting themselves out at the knees before they ever get a chance to get started. So we're all in different situations. We all have different goals. We're going to talk about that as well. Some goals bigger than others, but we have to make this personal into what your situation is. Where are opportunities for you to increase your income, decrease your expenses and take that difference to develop a nest egg to then start into your investment? So I'm excited to kind of walk along with you. Any questions, comments, more of what you want to see, post below and look forward to talking to you more.